Subscribe to our YouTube channel and be the first to know of our latest videos and resources. Like us on Facebook and get in touch. Sign up to our website so you'll never miss any of our exciting news, updates and videos. Hello and welcome to Little Blessings Online. I'm Jo. And I'm Andy B. And we're so glad you could join us. It's May. It's May, the month of May, and we have bank holidays. Um, we've got another one coming up this May. What What do you think of in May? Well, I think of sheep, and I think of lambs, and I think of fields, and I think of the lovely smells of the summer. Hmm. Well, I don't know about you, but I also think about dancing, because it's bank holiday, and, you know, we're happy, and... It's good weather. Well, not so much recently, but it can be good weather. And so dancing and in the countryside and maybe where you are, they have country dancing, funnily enough, broom dancing where you dance around a broom. That's and... when you're sweeping up the garage. Uh, no. And you do the broom dance because no. you're finished. <laughs> you do steps around a broom, honestly. Oh. And also the maypole dance where you have a pole and you have these ribbons and you dance around. Um, what dancing do you like doing or what do you know? Well, I don't really do dancing because I'm not very good <laughs> and it's a bit of a terrifying sight. So I stick to the daddy dance in, in, in the dark <laughs> or shuffle. There's the, the, the two steps shuffle with the feet to a music track I like. There's all kinds of dancing. There's there is. break dancing. <laughs> There's There is really cool dancing, maybe not so cool. Um, ballet dancing. I think I do the not so cool dancing quite well. I think I've got that one perfected. Yes. And then there's ballroom dancing, very posh, fancy, uh, fancy dancing. <laughs> well... In our story time, there's going to be some dancing, isn't there, Andy? There is. And story time today, we've got a treat because we've got a very special guest who's making his very, very first appearance. You're going to meet Dave the dog for the first time. <laughs> um, so story time today is all about dancing Dave, who is not the dog. This is a different Dave. So it's all about dancing Dave. It's story time and the story today is Dave the Dancer. But we're going to be in, um, joined 
by a special guest and let me ring him up because he can't be here today in the studio he's going to get him on video ready um hello hello dave hello i can hear you but i can't see you oh well, i'm sat here well can, can you make something happen so we can see you? Shall, shall I try and click a button? Yes. Right, hang on a minute. How's that? No, I can st- I can hear you, but I can't see you. Right, well, I clicked a button. I'll try another one. Hang yeah. on a minute. Go on then. And how's that? Um, no, I can hear you, but I can't see you. This isn't going very well, is no, it? No, it's not. Um, Shall we try Woods more? One more time. Right, hang on a minute. How's that? Did you do anything? Uh, yes. Oh, well, I still can't see I clicked see on the button with the little the little thingy in it. Yeah. And, well, yeah. Dave the dog, I'm so glad you could join us. Um, will you stay, even though we can't see you? Oh, I'll and stay. Listen, and listen to the story. So the story is about Dave the dancer. Now, Dave is a real... What are you doing, Dave? You said Dave the dancer. That's my weekend <laughs> name, so I was getting my boogie on. Can you, you're dancing. Uh, no, I can't dance. <laughs> oh, oh, that's a shame. Well, Dave, Dave the dancer, he... <laughs> oh, Dave, what are you doing? Well, you said Dave the dancer again. <laughs> You're dancing again? Oh. <laughs> oh, it's a shame we can't see you. No, it's not. Okay, so Dave's a really good guy and he's kind and he shares his things. Oh, thank you very much. Well, no, this is Dave in the story, not Dave the dog. This is oh. Dave the guy. Um, and he was smart and he always wore a suit. In fact, nobody ever saw him without him wearing his smart clothes, wearing his suit. Um, you know, like people have like a different um, socks for each day, like Monday socks and Tuesday yeah. socks and Wednesday socks like that. Um, well, Dave had a different suit for every day. I've got four feet, so I get through a lot of socks. Oh, yeah, you would have a lot of socks, wouldn't you? Because you've got four feet. That's yeah. true. Well, um, Dave had lots of ties as well, different ties to make him smart. He had had purple ties and dotty ties and stripy ties, all kinds of ties. I don't and have a tie, but I have got a dog collar. You've got a dog collar. Well, I am a dog. I've you got are a dog, a dog yeah. Well, Dave, this Dave had ties and he was very smart and when anybody saw Dave they so there goes dashing Dave because he was so smart well the funny thing is something happened one day you never guess what what happened well Dave do you know what he did he took off his smart jacket and he took off his tie w- was he hot no and he undid his top button of his t- smart shirt and he took Was it off Casual a... Friday? No, it wasn't Casual Friday. He took off his smart shoes and put on trainers. And he rolled up his sleeves. Was it? Was he unblocking the drains? No, he wasn't doing anything like that. He was just one day so happy and so grateful for all the things he had, like his friends and his family and his suits that he wanted to dance. And then he danced in the office and he danced in the street. Did he dance in the moonlight? No, it was daytime, so he was dancing with lots of different people. Did he, he jump? Because I, I can't dance. He might have danced. I actually have got two left feet. <laughs> did you? Well, he was dancing. He did the jig. He did some Irish dancing. The conga? Possibly, yeah. I reckon he would have done that as well. And he did a bit of ballroom dancing when he got home to his family. And he danced with his family and his friends and lots of different people. And they saw how happy he was. So they wanted to dance too. So do you know what? Now when people see what they used to call Dashing Dave, they don't say that anymore because now they call him because of his dancing, because what he does is he's so happy, he dances. And, of course, Dave is happy a lot. So now when they see this Dave, they say, there goes Dancing Dave. (laughs) Dave, what are you doing? You keep saying Dancing Dave, so I'll put my music on for my boogie. Oh, are you dancing again? I just wanted to dance, ah. Oh, what sort of dancing this time? Pretty bad dancing, really. <laughs> dancing. I'm sure it's dance. brilliant. I'm sure it's really good. It's such a shame we can't see your dancing. No, it really isn't. <laughs>
Well, we're going to have to say go goodbye to you now, Aww. Dave the dog. All Hopefully, right. we'll see you next time. Thank you for joining us. All Bye. Right. Bye. Turn around a bit. We'll try and get. Oh, we'll click click goodbye to dog the Dave the dog, and we're so glad he could join us. Sorry we couldn't see him, but we'll get that sorted for next week. That is story time. That was really great to have Dave the dog. Uh, shame we couldn't see him, but perhaps next time. But I'm sure his dancing was fine and I'm sure your dancing is fine. Would you like to do some dancing now? Because it's song time and we've got head, shoulders, knees and toes. And Dave was a shepherd boy. I think you'll know the tune. Shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes Heads, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes And eyes and mouth and ears and nose Heads, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes Shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes Shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes And eyes and mouth and ears and nose Shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes Knees and toes, knees and toes Knees and toes, knees and toes And eyes and mouth and ears and nose Knees and toes, knees and toes And toes, and toes And toes, and toes And, toes, and, toes, and eyes and mouth and ears and nose And toes, and toes And toes and And, and, eyes and mouth and ears and nose. wore silly hats and smiled at his dad. David was a shepherd boy. He had three sheep, one, two, three. David was a shepherd boy. He had three sheep, one, two, three. One sheep stood high, one sheep stood low. The other sheep liked eating grass and jumped to and fro. David was a shepherd boy. He had three sheep, one, two, three. David was a shepherd boy. He had three sheep, one, two, three. So there was song time for you. I hope you enjoyed those. We had quite a lot of fun making those, especially with the sheep. Now, uh, we're moving next on to art time, and we have got some dancing plates, <laughs> which are really cool. Dancing ribbons. It makes a little sound, which is really cool. And Joe tells you how to make these. So I hope you're going to enjoy this art time with Joe as she shows you how to make these fantastic dancing ribbons. For art time today, we're going to make dancing ribbons um, because here, here's one here and you can dance with them and it's fun. Um, uh, here I put some clouds on to decorate my ring that I've made and put crepe paper on. Um, we call them dancing ribbons because you can use ribbon or you could use strips of fabric. I've used crepe paper here and I'm going to use tissue paper today. So you, as I say, you're going to need some uh, paper plates, just two. 
um, something to colour your ring with. So you can use coloured pens, pencils, crayons, paints, even stickers. And then you'll need these lovely colours. Of course, you can have lots of different colours. I've gone for orange on this one and I'm going for red for this one, but you can have lots of different colours and even coloured paper, whatever you've got at home to use. So you take your two plates and, and you'll need glue and scissors as well. So two plates. And the reason why we have two is to make this stronger for dancing. But if you think you need it a bit stronger, then you could add more plates. And you basically glue two of the plates together. Um, and before you glue them together, just cut in a hole in the middle and using this as a template, this um, line here, and just take the scissors. So if I just show you now, just take your two plates just fold it a little bit, not too much, because we don't want it to be folded. And just cut like that. And then, of course, you can cut around um, inside the circle then and carry on until you're finished, until you've got a lovely circle there. And that's when you glue together the two plates. And this is the good bit where you can get children can get involved and do nice picture on the on this circle. So I'm going to do hearts today, lots of different coloured hearts. I'm going to do some green ones like that. And you can have lots of fun, lots of colour. Uh, spend a few minutes on it or lots of hours, whatever you want to do. Uh, hearts, circles, uh, you could colour it all in. Or you could leave it plain if you wanted to and stick bits on it, stick bits of material, all sorts of things and just have fun with that. And then the next thing you need to do is basically stick on pieces of tissue paper. Now I've gone for, you can go for about 45 centimetres. This is about 30 centimetres. It's totally up to you. Um, and how many strips? About, so I've gone for two in groups of two and about four or five groups of two. But you can go for more or you can go for less. And then you just group them like that. And then stick them on the back. Now, um, I'm going to just use glue, but you can use um, obviously sellotape or something stronger if you're worried about it coming off. So put lots of glue on here um, and stick this tissue paper on. Let's say in groups of two. But as I say, if you're going to be dancing with this, then you need it to be strong. So you might want to put um, stronger tape on. But just for now, I'm just going to put it on so you can see this glue is pretty strong to be fair and of course the tissue paper isn't very strong and there we go and we keep doing that until we've got them all on on the back there I say to reinforce it if you put some sellotape on the back that would really be helpful because I'm not actually going to dance with this one I'm just showing you how to do it but if you've got some real dancers in there you want to give this a real go and you want to make sure it doesn't fall off and there we go, stick that at the back and we have ourselves dancing ribbons. So I hope you enjoy art time making those little ribbons which are really really awesome and actually quite quite simple to make really I think so we've come to the end of our very first episode of little blessings online this is our fourth season mm -hmm. going for nearly a year it's quite exciting so I hope you've enjoyed today um, we do something which we may be able to help you out with so every weekday as much as we can physically do it we have prayer 262 and if you're wondering what prayer 262 is Peter and me will tell you what it is Prayer 262 with the Berry Bunch. But what is Prayer 262? We pray for six minutes. And we say thank you to God for two minutes. So ten minutes at tops. So seven o'clock in the evening on Facebook with the Berry Bunch. We pray for six minutes. Thank God for two minutes. Ten minutes tops. Prayer 262. <laughs> So
So that's prayer 262. Um, if you don't know how to pray for something and you'd like us to pray for you, you can do that and we'll pray for you. Or you could tune in. It's seven o'clock in the evening, which means you might be in bed. Or bath time in bed, depends what time you go to bed. Or where you are in the, in the world watching this. We know that people watch this all over the world, which is exciting. So... And that's prayer 262 weekdays. And you can send us your prayer requests through our website, buriedabunch.family. And there's a contact page on there. And you can send us your prayer requests through there. And that's on Facebook from 7 o'clock here in the UK. So I hope you've enjoyed today, little blessings. Have you enjoyed today, Joe? Yes, I have. Yes, and I'm really glad we're back because I've missed doing this. We've been off for quite a while, getting lots of things set up, which is very exciting. So thank you for joining us today, wherever and whenever you are in the world. Have a great rest of your day or week, and we'll see you again soon. Bye for now. Bye. loads of ways to keep in touch with the Berry Bunch. Visit our website and make sure you sign up to the blog and get notified on all our videos, posts, exciting news and seasonal events. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and get told when we post brand new video resources. Take a look over Dingdash, a fabulous place that connects people from all over the world. Like us on Facebook where we hang out and post extra stuff to encourage and inspire you. We're on Instagram too and share extra photos when we're out and about. And if you're enjoying, using or sharing what we do, visit us over on Patreon and you can become part of the extended Berry Bunch family by supporting us with the cost of all we do. Mm -hmm.